I think one of the things that makes Handel's Messiah so universally beloved would have to be just the sheer number of recognizable, really powerful and great choruses. Structurally, there are three parts. Part one deals with the prophecy and the birth. Part two deals with the passion and the suffering. And the shorter third part deals with the victory over death. If you come to this as a music lover, you think this is a piece that I've, I've grown up with and known all my life, or even if you only hearing it for the first time, but will be moved by the music, what you see on stage will enhance that greatly. Uh, some of the scenes that stick out in my mind, there's the scene at the end of part one where Jesus is gently gathering his flock. It's the alto aria, he shall feed his flock. And each ballet dancer builds into a long line and they lay their heads on one another's shoulder, all building to the center on Jesus. Just a beautiful picture of that aria. Uh, one of the other ones would be the recitative, the bass recitative, for behold darkness shall cover the earth. And there's an there's a enormous black silk fabric that literally covers the entire stage, that billows up and down. And at the point where the lyrics change, and the Gentiles shall come to thy light, one dancer emerges from underneath this dark cloth. It's really a very powerful image. Another one that comes to mind is the continuation of that recitative into the bass aria, for behold, darkness shall cover the earth. And upstage, center stage, is this suspended angel with these enormous wings, and she is um, very kind of otherworldly, and then begins this lovely aria, this sort of winding, meandering, chromatic aria, um, the people that walked in darkness, as the angel sort of flies around the stage. As a, as a conductor and as someone who grew up really loving this piece, knowing this piece, and having a background of connection and a relationship to it as a musician. Um, I held the piece obviously in very high reverence and, and high regard, so I was, I was skeptical of what would happen seeing it on stage. But what really happened when I saw it on stage is it opened my mind to different ways of looking at the music. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful what happens on stage. Me, it just, no matter how many times I do the piece, it never fails to touch me and to give me goosebumps in every performance. For the dance lover, there's glorious ballet at its, at its highest level. And then for the music lover, you'll get a chance to hear the master chorale sing the entire oratorio with just a few minor cuts. Uh, you'll hear some first-rate soloists, uh, some wonderful string players, an organist, and I think just seeing the whole thing combined, the visual with the oral, is, is a great experience and a new way to experience this work.